Hey everybody, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear. Today's topic is going to be a collective read. Um, I'm going to just read the energy on whatever comes out. To book a personal reading, to buy Oracle decks, join Patreon, just support the channel, check out my social medias. It'll all be down below in the description box. Um, so collective, what's going on with my collective? Please and thank you. What's going on with my collective? Hmm. I see you resting in order to gain some type of enlightenment. But some part of you feels embarrassed. Like you don't want people to see you while you're going through some sort of transformation. While you're juggling the thought of being successful, coming together with people, with competition. Okay, so it's like at the top is lonely, right? Feeling that energy of heartbreak, disappointment. Making a choice. Oh, to carry a burden, collective, what's going on? Oh, carry the burden of your happiness. Hmm. So regardless of wherever you're at, if you're settling, you're going to move around. You're going to choose to move around. Yep. And have this new beginning. Take charge as this masculine energy. That yang energy in the yin and yang energy. The action-oriented energy, right? That anybody can embody. You could be a male or a female in this energy. But it's simply saying that you're taking charge. You're being abundant, stable. You're having a new beginning. You could be an entrepreneur. Um, vary about your abundance, money, the physical world, things like that. And you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you can have that somewhere in your chart. But the overall energy has to do with disappointment so I'll clarify yeah it's all about strategy here and the strategy has to do with how you really don't want to be seen, but you still want to gain this enlightenment. It's like you don't want anybody to know your next move towards stability. You're leaving this in the back. Like that house of cards that eventually is going to fall, right? Look, you're coming in as a masculine energy, but not just any masculine. The divine masculine. But divine masculine. In this yang energy, action-oriented, getting things done, right? If you don't take heed to the people that are in your energy every day, those people could rub off on you, right? Right? And there is a looming energy of like a seven of swords betrayal type of energy. When it comes to a two of cups situation, you want to get enlightenment on a two of cups situation. And you're needing to kind of sit back, take a rest on it. Have a strategy about how to go about it. Have a strategy about how to heal from it. Some part of you feels humiliated. Like you didn't have any other choice but to do this, right? And it's like, oh, we'll just stay and play the role that everything is fine or go against the grain, right? Let's see. Page of Wands is like you're going to go forth and say, like, well, look, you going to, the action you're going to take, right, is starting to question like man can I juggle this back and forth can I you know what what options do I have right and then you know you're emotionally connected to this victory because it's like that's what you know right 
But the other part of you does have a fight in you to go against the grain. Whatever you choose is going to come in fast. Like this is something that's going to take place very fast. Because you're ready to come out of this energy of Nine of Swords being in your head, losing sleep, being stressed. Okay? Over not making a decision. I cannot make it up. Two of Wands in reverse over not making a decision. That will ultimately lead you to a brand new beginning. Ace of Wands. So let's see what you got in here. You have Vacation. So you have like a vacation looming or you need to take a vacation. Obstacles to overcome. So it looks to me like you're overcoming obstacles and you really need to take some sort of vacation to fully relax. See, to in order to have this guaranteed success, it's like you got to usher in this guaranteed success that's there for you. But you have to take the steps to release the pain, right? To move forward. You can't be having that extra baggage trying to attract other things into your life, right? The bottom deck here is great worry over nothing. So you have great worry over nothing collective because the universe, the divine is trying to bless you. And the moment you give in to self-love, right, and make that choice, like, what's the best choice for you? What do you want, collective? I also feel as though you need to heal in order to receive this blessing that is coming towards you, that you're ultimately manifesting that is for you in this lifetime, right? So be mindful. If this reading resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more collective reads like this one, smash that like button. If you just want to support the channel, smash that like button. I thank you so much for all the all of the love and support. And to them, peace and love.